Former Florida Attorney General Pam Bondi joins us tonight to talk more about this. Pam, good to see you. Hey, Rob. Good to see a great monologue. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's, I'm passionate about it. Obviously, you can see that. But how incredible is it to see you know, right now you're seeing the White House, you're seeing a lot of liberals claiming that the media has been unfair to this administration. You went through this. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I did. I did. President Trump has taken more incoming than any sitting president, I think, than any human being. And I don't think anyone else could have withstood what he's taken and continues to take. Look, look at Afghanistan, Rob, for instance. Look at not only just the debacle they are leaving all our military equipment, but all of our Marines that got killed, all of the horrible things that have happened. They don't even want to talk about that. Yeah. President Trump supports our men and women in the military, our men and women in law enforcement. They never give him credit for that. Look at the travel ban on the African countries. President Biden does it. Oh, it's fine. What did they call yeah. President Trump? A racist? Xenophobic? It's ridiculous was, what's going on. They gave him no credit for fighting human trafficking, the war yeah. on drugs, the economy at all, at all time high under President Trump. It's something else. I mean, it, it, it's just it's incredible. I think what they hope is that we've forgotten. It's been a year and we've forgotten what they did for those four years. And they think that now it's safe to it's safe to kind of push out this narrative again to kind of give the Biden team a little cover. I mean, it's The Washington Post. They, they're in bed with the White House and we all know it. In the article, Dana Milbank actually writes, and I shouldn't call it an article. It's actually a, it's a column. Right. My colleagues in the media are serving as accessories to the murder of democracy. He actually says he also claims Trump's response to covid, he says, caused hundreds of thousands of unnecessary deaths from covid-19. And I think it's funny how nobody condemns all of these deaths we're seeing under Biden, who's using Trump's vaccine as is still losing in this weird little covid competition. Even with a vaccine, more people are dying under Biden than under Trump. And nobody talks about that. They still talk about how Trump killed hundreds of thousands of people. But Biden is exempt. Of course they don't. Look what President Trump did with Operation Warp Speed. Hmm. He got that vaccination out to the American people and helped get it to the world faster than anyone could have done that. He saved countless lives in our country by Operation Warp Speed. No one gives him credit yeah. for that. No, you're very true. Very good point about that. And, and I want to talk for a second. One of the biggest ways that the media is culpable in, in, in assisting this administration, not holding them accountable at all, is with the Hunter story, with the corruption story, which they have fought <laughs> off as hard as they could. The president, and I, the former president, was on with Sean Spicer and Lindsey Keith earlier tonight talking about just that. Let's take a listen. Every time you misspell a word, they come out after you. But uh, if you look at the crimes that take place on the other side, they never go after them. It's, a, you know, it's an incredible situation, uh, including how about $500,000 for a painting that probably wasn't painted by him. Just real quick, I mean, if, if, if Don Jr. had spent his whole life following Trump around and Trump was a senator and vice president and collecting money everywhere he went, what do you think the media coverage would have looked like? Well, and, and Rob, it was uh, obviously we know what it would look like, but it was the opposite. I mean, look how much money the family lost and sacrificed right. because President Trump became president of the United States. And by the way, Don Jr. could paint a real painting other than Hunter Biden. And remember, I did defend against Hunter Biden during the impeachment hearings round one. Yep. And the media didn't even want to touch that. All of Hunter Biden's dealings with China, everything he did that have now come out on his laptop. Yet no one wants to talk about that. It's pretty amazing, isn't it? Former Florida Attorney General Pam Bonney. Sure is. Thank you so much for taking the time. Good to see you. Thank you.